Well, today I'm going to be looking at the AOD four speed automatic overdrive transmission we put into our 73 Mach 1 with a 351 Windsor engine, not Cleveland, but Windsor. It replaced the original 302, which is also Windsor based design. And the effort today is going to be to show how our shift and throttle valve linkage was connected um, on the transmission. And I will add to it what it looks like with the linkage up on the engine side, probably after I get through with what's down here. Now, here is the throttle valve cable that up above goes to the engine and down below was connected to the transmission from behind and that was necessary because of how the throttle valve linkage and shift linkage would have interfered with each other had both of the shift arms or uh, ears been in the up position. Here we had to put the shift shaft arm up and the throttle of a linkage down, which required connecting the cable mount to the rear of the transmission. Had we been able to do the throttle valve linkage in the up position, 180 degrees from where it's at, we would have mounted the cable mount on the forward bosses of the transmission housing. That's not how we ended up doing it. Now, as far as the linkage itself for the shifter, this is going to be hard to show, but if you take a look, I hope you can see that what we have is a solid rod going all the way back to the original, the OEM shifter. This is an adjustable rod made specifically to be adjustable in multiple ways for an AOD being installed in a Mustang or a Cougar. It was purchased through Summit Racing. It is manufactured by Locar. And the nice thing about this is that the other end of the linkage Again, hard to see. See if I can get a better shot of this. Oh man, that's tough. Well, hopefully you can see that. The shift linkage that goes into the shifter arm has a shift shaft with multiple holes around it, bolt holes, and three Allen head bolts hold the arm in whatever angle place we need it to be at and then we can not only adjust the end of the rod for length, either end, but the leg itself or arm itself coming off from the center of the shift shaft has a slot. So I can adjust the radius distance from the center to where the shifter arm connects to the shift shaft itself so the radius length can be altered to get the correct geometry so that the shifter the floor shifter detent will match its gate throws to the detent in the transmission itself I wish these headers weren't in the way because I could probably get a much better picture of that for you. It's really hard to do. Ah, uh, let's see if I can come up this way. Oh, maybe that shows it better. I, I can't tell from where I'm standing. But anyway, getting that low car adjustable shift rod made all the difference in me being able to use the original shifter from the vehicle 
with an automatic overdrive transmission. Now that probably begs a question, what about driving it? Because the original floor shifter has six positions, park, reverse, neutral, drive, two, and one. Whereas the overdrive shifters that I see in the different vehicles and trucks that came with AODs is park, reverse, neutral, overdrive, drive, five positions, not six. Well, it turns out that with our original shifter with six positions, I can actually engage the transmission in six different detent positions, not just five. So what I'll do is I will do another video, maybe attach it to this one, showing dynamically how that works and how we can do manual shifting for upshifting one, two, three, and overdrive. It's a lot of fun. It works very well. I'm still very pleased with how this transmission project turned out for the AOD.